Welcome back again. This is Fox, the next instalment in our Anno 1800 playthrough, Max Investors. Right, this one is just going to be about the plan. I've been testing a lot of stuff over the last week, really. Touring around this island, the way I'm going to do things. The main decision that I have now made is that I am going full on Docklands. Um, the numbers that I was going to be able to reach not using Docklands and just producing the stuff the natural way in the new world and the old world was not going to be not overwhelming enough for me to warrant spending two months of my life doing it. <laughs> they use so much stuff, so much coffee on these islands. I was, I probably would have beat my scholar. I definitely would have beat my scholar score of my last scholar game, which was just around 3 million global pop, but it wouldn't have been nothing special. But if I go full on Docklands, which I have decided to do, it's not easy by any mean feat. There's a lot of number crunching and maths and shipping, transporting stuff around just because of the sheer numbers that you need. If I go down that route, which I am going to do, some of you may not agree with it, but we still do have to produce a lot of stuff anyway. We still have to produce stuff in the old world. All of the new stuff can't be traded for. Biscuits, typewriters, um, toys, they all need to be made. Then there's the new stuff in the new world, which we've got to make, which is... New stuff in the new world, which we've got to deal with, which is celluloid, which is needed for toys, something else that I don't quite remember at the minute. Ethanol is the big meme. It's just going to be these two, really, ethanol and celluloid. If we look at the production chain for chewing gum, I don't really need this because I'm supplying it via town halls but we'll get to that in a minute chocolate's going to be traded now so we're not going to need to worry for that cigars are being traded i can even trade coffee i haven't really got to make any coffee if my numbers are correct so the only stuff we're going to be making out here is ethanol which is pretty goddamn easy so we should be able to make this in vast abundances considering how many islands we've got celluloid's a bit of a mean because it needs to count for wax which is an orchard Okay, cotton and an orchard. Cotton, can we trade cotton? Sorry, I'm just thinking on the run here, as I always do. I don't think we can trade cotton. I know we can trade cotton fabric. Yeah, we can. Okay, so that's going to need to be made. So yeah, pretty much all of the new production chains we are going to have to make from scratch. Anything old investors, if you like, is going to be traded. Or supplied in town halls so the items that i've opted for in the town halls are going to be this chap this is a new specialist blue skies delivery service residents with the department store furniture store or drug store nil fulfilled are provided with chewing gum billiard tables and violins that is absolutely massive so we are getting on a tier five skyscraper we're getting billiard tables violins and what was the other one chewing gum so we're cutting out three production chains. I mean, look at the production chain for billiard tables. It's crazy. Violins, not so bad. Uses some new world, uh, old world stuff. What was the other one? Chewing gum's a bit of a meme, because that needed a lot of sugar, obviously. Rubber, sugar, cinnamon orchard. So this is all the old new world stuff. Um, I will make a little bit of this, because as you can see, even though all of these town halls have the item in. Obviously there's gaps in between the town halls, so I need two tons for this island. So I'm probably gonna need forty tons of chewing gum. So we will make that. But yeah, so there's this dude. This leads on to another thing which I'm gonna have to do. After watching another streamer yesterday I, I realised that the amount of items that I'm gonna need to put in every single town hall of this one I mean, he is coming in as visitors. I've had him two or three times, but it's not going to be quick enough. I'm going to have to research hundreds of these, which means I'm going to have to build up two or three or even four full scholar islands to give me enough research points to research these. Because once you get past the... When you're researching items, it doesn't cap at the 250,000. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. So if I have to research 100 of these, I could need a million points. And it's going to be more like 200 
You see, I'm only at 262,000 at the minute because I, I originally was just going to use this for the um, masteries of nature, you know, moving oil fields and clay pits and stuff like that. But yeah, this item, I mean, Garrick, you can buy him. Uh, Arist Aristella Batil, I'm going to use her. She provides champagne. That's one other thing that I'm not going to have to produce or trade for. All well, that being said, I may be producing enough goddamn items to trade for the champagne as well, so that may swap out. But Garrick is a must. Uh, the main reason being, just for the money that he produces, because he produces um, pocket watches and jewellery, the money is a big issue with his skyscrapers if you take these out. Look, if I... If I just remove Garrick out of one of these, you watch the money shoot down. As they start losing. Oh, we do have a big stock on the island, so it won't take a while. Yeah, the, the island was full before I put these in. But yeah, suffice to say, the money that these bring in, 937 coins and 675 is absolutely massive. I may be able to do away with the bank. I have got full bank coverage. That's another thing I've been toying with, whether or not to give them bank and members club, but the coins that you get from jewellery alone, Garrick is a massive, massive helper. So money should not be an issue. This island is now, all of the production chains are in place for this island and we are at plus 765k. So. With these items in there, with Garrick in there, producing them all the goods, money's not going to be an issue. Um, we're going to be good. We're going to be well in the green. So that was the main thing. The town hall items, as I said, I've showed. The Blue Skies delivery, which is providing us with billiard tables, violins, and chewing gum. Aristel Batil, novelty store, giving us champagne, and then Garrick. But as I say, champagne may come out, and I may add an item that boosts population slightly. Then my choice is what I've come to. Items that I'm going to have decreasing items, if you like. I'm going to use the furniture store to produce lamps, which reduces the needs of light bulbs by 25%. Also the jewellery, but that doesn't matter because it's being supplied by Garrick. Two department stores, one making vacuums, which reduces the amount of glasses and steam carriages. The other department store is making the toaster, which is another 15% on bulbs. It's massive, it's like 50% of your bulbs are gone. Then the lipstick. This is another 5% bulb, so we really need we need way less than half the amount of bulbs because of these four department stores or whatever they're called, arcades. Then steam carriages, minus 25%. That's a big one. Minus 25% steam carriages. With that lipstick in, you can see this whole island only needs eight steam carriages, I believe. Eight steam carriages a minute to supply this whole island. And I was producing 180 so that means I could have over 20 islands at 300,000, which would be a lot. 7 million, which is what we're aiming for, <laughs> if I've got enough space. But yeah, that being said, again, I may not even need to... I'm pretty sure I can trade the cabs with the amount of stuff I've got left, because I'm making... 120 bicycles a minute, which accounts to about 3,000 over the 25 time minute that it comes in. So let's see how many I'm using. I'm using 386 for the glasses. 45, so that's like 430. 460, say. 1,460. Let's say I'm using 2,000 at the minute. That means I've got 1,000 spare. I need another export office if I've got room to put one in should have that way I should be able to trade the remaining well it's only 8 steam carriages a minute isn't it? what's that times 30 it's 240 let's say I need 240 so let's use bicycles steam carriages not bad so yeah I can with the setup I've got on this island, I can trade everything that they need. And all that is being done is one cluster of bicycle factories with Bruno, Dario, and Ferras. Obviously, they're boosted by electricity. Um, this is giving advanced weapons at a rate of 1 over 3, steam motors at a rate of 1 over 3. 
pocket watches at a rate of one over, one over eight and then gramophones at a rate of one over eight. And I'm simply using all of those items, tallying them up, using all of those items for trade for what we need. Uh, the glasses for the arcades, spectacles, these two are doing the coffee, the brasses for the arcades, cigars, chocolate, rubber to feed back into the system for the bicycles so you don't have to ship it over, although it wasn't a lot. It was 100, I think. 120, yeah, so it seems stuck up per island. Yeah, the rubber. Um, this tallow is being going to be used for biscuits, which will go over at a later date. The bulbs and then the steam carriages. So everything that they need in regards to old investor goods, if you like, can be traded. So that's the way we're going. A cluster, or maybe a cluster and a half on a massive island, because this isn't fully optimized. As you can see I've got a lot of space. Cluster or maybe a couple, cluster and a half of bicycle factories on each island. I don't want to be shipping these shipping these bicycles around or having these fill up crown falls. I've got no need. Um, they can't make use of the um, palace pilot policy that I showed in my last video, the cab one. Where is my palace? It's tucked away here somewhere. I will go to Crown Falls. Yeah, they can't make use of the Heavy Goods has Skilled Labour Act, you can see in that drop-down list there. Penny Farthings are not in there, so can't make use of that on Crown Falls. They would get a slight 50% boost from the electricity, but for the ease of just having everything on site, all of the goods are then instantly put into these warehouses. We can trade them straight out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a cluster of Penny Farthings per island. Trade all the items out for the old investor goods anything new which for us because we are being supplied with chewing gum billiard tables and violins it's going to be we're going to need to make toys a hell of a lot of lacquer cognac and biscuits celluloids and old world production but yeah so a new world production so yeah let's quickly run through the toys felt no bother i believe we can trade that Pretty sure we can trade that. Yeah, felt we can trade, so we don't need to worry about that. That's going to be traded. Then it's celluloid, which I say we're going to have to set up a factory for in the new world. Chemical plants, which I'm already dealing with. These can be clipped, which is pretty cool. I'll show you what I'll do with these over here. There is really only one item that these chemical plants use that I like, and it's... This one produces productivity by 30%, increases the workforce by 30%. So you're getting half as much work, work, half as much productivity again with only a 30% increase in workforce. The maintenance cost is a bit of crap, but the chance of fire minus 10, illness minus 10. So when these are clipped, when these chemical factories are clipped, they're getting a good old boost. They're getting electricity products, two productivity boosts of. 50 which is 100 up so we're already on 200 and then another 50 each so they'll be at 300 percent plus the skilled labor act a lot of these new items that be made in the old world have been added to the skilled labor act you can see we've got biscuits in there typewriters toys aren't in there but biscuits typewriters and lacquer so this is dealing with the lacquer. You can see it's being clipped to trade unions. The good thing about this is because they only use one slot in the trade union, you can fit other items around them. These are assembly line typewriters. These are making use of the other two slots. So you can see these are being boosted by two items because I only need one for the chemical factories. So we're gonna be able to make a real good sort of cluster of these with the chemical factories being clipped and then the assembly lines and other things like the artisan workshops making the cognac fitted in amongst them. It's going to be really good. It's going to look a lot like my last Crown Falls with the uh, bloody else. I made enough of them. What are they? Telephones. And then everything's sort of slotted in between. So this is all going to be industry again. You'd be mad not to. Yeah, so what were we, do what were we talking about then? That was the lacquer. Yeah, typewriters use the lacquer. They use brass and steel, which we can trade, no bother. 
and we're going to be making a lot of well I may, I may leave a little cab assembly line set up I actually have done a little cab production on here this will easily be enough to trade all of the brass and the steel that we need to make the typewriters no bother and the res the altered resin that's going to be cool they're going to be on a dedicated island I've just been messing around with items um, you can use three items so that they can be spammed around her you can see you can get real tight clusters around a trade union so resin is not going to be an issue um, that's that cognac is a bit of a meme but there's some really cool specialists that are going to help us further down the line with this so cognac uses grapes orchard cherry wood and sugar now the sugar I'm just going to simply make in the new world it's only I only need some like can't even remember what it was. What was it? 384 tons. That's no bother. I can do that on a, a small, a medium island. So the sugar. I could probably fit that amount of sugar on this rubber island, which we're not going to need. So this could be repurposed or even one like this. Sugar's not going to be a problem. Um, the cool thing about this setup is, if we go back to it, Cognac needs grapes and cherry wood. Now we do need citrus for different productions for the biscuits. We need 909 tons of citrus a minute. Now this vineyard has a new specialist. Ah no, yeah, that it's actually sugar. Look, sugar. This item that's been bought in for these orchards, look, it affects orchards, jam orchard, citrus orchard, cherry wood, and a vineyard. It makes sugar at a rate of one over three. So we can make sugar from a vineyard, which is grapes. And the amount we can boost them with tractors and stuff means we're going to be churning out a shit ton of sugar. And also, if needed, we can do it from the cherry wood. So yeah, sugar, done. We ain't got to worry about that. It's going to be made as a byproduct. Now, also, citrus. I believe citrus can be made from these cherry wood orchards. All orchards. It only gives a 5% plus productivity boost, but increases the workforce and maintenance cost. But this produces citrus at a rate of 1 over 4. Now, if we put these orchards on their own island with a fourth um, trade union slot, that means we can have the three items that decrease forest density, and then we can put this one in. So we're going to be making a shit ton of citrus. I mean, I only need... I do need a lot of citrus. I need 909 tons of citrus a minute. So, excuse me. It's probably not going to be enough, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We're going to be making a lot of sugar for free from the grapes and the cherry orchard if we needed to, because it said both of those. Um, the citrus that we needed for the biscuits. Here, you can see. Biscuit line needs citrus. We're going to be making a good chunk of that from our cherry orchards. The only other item that we need to make in the old world is biscuits. I am going to do a full overview of this, but biscuits are easy. They need tallow, flour, and citrus. So that's what I was just talking about, the amount of citrus we're going to need. Um, flour is easy. It just needs grain. Yeah, I may do a massive island dedicated purely to grapes somewhere. I may use this. I may literally wipe out this cab assembly line. That I've just spent hours and hours fiddling with because we don't need it. Dedicate this to making grapes. Um, the grapes are going to make the citrus from that. Any grapes that we have left over from the cognac. How many grapes did I need? I only needed 384 tons a minute. Is that right? Do some quick maps. That doesn't sound like a lot. All right, we need 20 tons of cognac a minute for 300,000. Calculate that. So 920 tons a minute for 900,000. So that's like 20, 40, 60. Let's say 70 tons a minute for a million. So 70 times. A million. That's wrong. 
seventy times seven. Four hundred and ninety. Got three hundred and eighty bit down here. Four hundred and eighty four hundred and ninety. That's a lot. Four hundred and ninety tons of cherry wood, four hundred and ninety tons of grape, four hundred and ninety tons of sugar. Yeah, it's not gonna be a problem though, because we've got so much space. All of these coach islands I've just made dedicated to coaches. These can go. These can be our orchards producing the um cherry wood. These can be little mini grape islands. We've got tons out here. We've got six or seven little islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If each one of these was spammed with an orchard cluster or two, you could easily fit two trade union clusters on these without too much hassle. Three. We're going to be making... It's not going to be an issue. I don't think space is going to be an issue. An issue. And these small islands, I know some of the proper min maxes use them for population, but that's not what I do. I use them for production. Um, focus all of the buildings on the bigger islands. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's have a look at the new world quick at the new production chains over there that we need. And we briefly touched on it a minute ago. So, yes, the big meme over here is ethanol. The ethanol is used for the lacquer. We need 136 tons of lacquer. I need 864 tonnes of lacquer for tight rods. I need 1,000 tonnes a minute of lacquer. So I'm guessing that's going to be round about 1,000 tonnes of ethanol. So 1,000 tonnes of ethanol. And one of these buildings produces what? The population's the biggest problem for this. Well, I've got three on this island, non-boosted. And they're making six, and they make two each. I'm guessing with some specialists we can increase that, but it's going to be a lot of these factories, and they're hungry. They need 125 abreros, so a fair few islands. These ethanol production facilities, ethanol chemical plants, are going to have to be spread across varying islands because of the sheer numbers of people that it takes to work them. You can't get them at zero workforce. There's no items that let you to do that. So, yeah, ethanol is the big meme. Ethanol for the new world, and then biscuits for the old world. Got biscuits covered. Biscuit Island is done. This is going to be able to produce me a lot. I can't remember what it was we needed. 900 tons a minute, I think. I managed to cram everything on here. I don't know whether these warehouses are going to keep up or not, but time will tell. Looking good. This is going to be making use of the Heavy Goods Act because biscuits use a rate. Um, biscuits use a skilled labour act as well. We're getting them for free at a rate of one over three. Yeah. Good. All right, next time I may do an actual recording of me setting up an ethanol island. That might be cool. Yeah, anyway, managed to get a lot in. I just wanted to let you know what the plan was. Sort of a generalised idea of how this playthrough is going to go. Um, if you are a little bit annoyed about me using the Docklands to its full extent, I do apologise, but I've got a real good chance of pushing some really big numbers here and competing with some of the best min-maxers in the game. So, we're going to give it a go. Uh, as always, please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the Discord, share your progress, and join the general min maxing chat or just general anno chat in general anno chat in general. Just some general anno chat in general. Let's put some nice trees in here. There you go, I'm a beauty builder. This one's for you, Tacker. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Right, see you in the next one.